Hello colleagues, my name is Possible and I'll be your tutor for today. We are going to learn principles of microeconomics. In our previous lecture, we ended with factors that affect demand. Now before that, we were looking at demand function as QD, as QD equal to A minus BP. And he said that this one, it was a simplified form. This one is the demand function whereby the own price has been given. I hope it makes sense. And that is why we have change in demand and the change in quantity demand. I hope it makes sense. We are seeing a change in quantity demand. Now when you look at this one, you could see that this one focuses on the own price. And the own price is quantity demanded. I hope it makes sense. So we are saying that quantity demanded can only, that the change in quantity demanded or quantity demanded can only be influenced by the own price. That the change in demand can also be influenced by the other factors of demand. So the other factors of demand um, shift the demand curve either outward or inward. But the own price which affects the change in quantity demand is a movement along the demand curve. So we are saying that we have change in quantity demand and not change in demand. Change in demand can be affected by other factors and can be caused by other factors of demand apart from the own price. And we are saying that change in quantity demanded can only be affected by the own price, the own, own, own price of the commodity or the, the price of the commodity itself. I hope, it makes, I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So straight away from there, once you have done the factors that are affecting demand, and you have taste and preference, you have weather and season, you have advertisement, you have all those things. But I've told you that there are two other factors that are very important. That are the prices of other related commodities and the income of the consumers. So whatsoever we are going to do, this semester, we are going to give reference to the prices of other related commodities and then the income of the consumers. So that means that, that means that the test of preference, weather and condition, advertisement, and those things, we are not going to factor them. So right now we have three factors. One is a factor that affects change in quantity demand. That is the own price. And the other one, is the the other two is the factor that affect the um, that affect demand how it makes sense that affect demand that cause either outward or inward shift in demand demand curve how it makes sense that is the price of other related commodity and the income of the consumer so factoring or considering all the other factors over here yes we get a new demand function a new demand function, new demand function. So we have QDX. CX here means that the commodity is called commodity X. So it means that this price is the own price of the commodity X. How do we say Because the price here is X. But Y here is not the own price. T, T here is not the own price. I hope it makes sense. Nice one. So, we are going to deduce this one. Trust me, this same question or similar question dropped in the year 2019, 20, 2020. 20, those who are currently in level 200, 2021, who are in level 200. I hope it makes sense. Their first quiz was like this University of Cape Coast, UCC. So this question is very, very important and thereby it is very crucial to understand it. So this is how we are going to do it. So let us read the question and then we combine it and after combine it, we will try to bring down the key component and then from there we dissect and bisect it in order to move on. All right. Now, looking at it, we have QD 100 P 100 Minus 5P 
PX. Look at it very careful. I'm giving you 10 seconds to read the question. Read it carefully. All right. The 10 seconds is due. Now let us read it together. QD is equal to 100 minus 5P subscript X minus 3P subscript Y plus 2P subscript T plus Y minus 0.2A. Can you see it? Why Q is quantity demanded? X is good X. So X is good X. Y is good Y. So this means that Y is not good X. Y is good Y. And that related commodity. So Y is good Y. Therefore, price of Y will be price of good Y. I hope you are getting it. T, T is good T. Y and M are the income of the household or of the consumer. I hope it makes sense. So it means that Y is income and M is income. PY is price of commodity Y and PT is price of commodity T. This means that we are talking about price of other related commodities. So the question says that interpret the function. So we are coming to interpret it. I'm not going to write it, so listen to me carefully. I'm not going to write it, so you listen to me carefully. We are going to interpret it. Now the interpretation, this is how it is going to be. Look at it carefully. We said that complementary goods have negative relationship. And then substitutes also have positive. Normal goods, which is the income. So when I talk about complementary and I talk about substitute, we are talking about prices of other related commodity. And then when I talk about normal and I talk about inferior, we are talking about the income of the consumer. I hope it makes sense. I like that. So, this is the interpretation. This is the own price. So, you are starting with the own price. No, don't worry. Let's start it all over. 100 is the autonomous. 100 units is the autonomous. It is the unit that will be consumed when price and income is zero or when price and income are zero autonomous hemorrhage is autonomous demand and it is a unit that to be consumed when prices and income are zero it means that it does not depend on these factors, prices and income. I'm done. Now, the minus here, I have explained it to you. It shows the relationship between the old price and the quantity demanded. So, this one too, the interpretation is this. When price increases by a Ghana CD, when price increases by a Ghana CD, quantity demanded would decrease by five units. When price increases by one Ghana city, quantity demanded would decrease by five units. Let's come here. Now this two portion is talking about prices of other related commodity because you consider this other related commodity T and Y. I hope it makes sense. So if we are talking about price of other related commodities, first component to look at is the first thing to look at is whether there is minus here or there is plus here or there is minus here or plus here. Here is minus. So as soon as you see that there is a minus there, then the first thing to come into your mind is that they are complementing each other because you see that complementary goods have negative relationship. So this good commodity has a negative relationship with this thereby they are complementary goods good x and good y i hope it makes sense they are complementing each other because there's negative side here complementary goods 
And I hear substitute because there's a positive sign here. Positive. I mean this, this. In mathematics, don't be confused. Here, this one's own is here. This one 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 own is here. And this one own is here. I hope it makes sense. Don't be confused. All right. So this one is complementary goods. And this one is substitute. Because here is addition. It's positive relationship. So, it means that when price increases by a Ghana CD, when price increases by a Ghana CD, quantity demanded of commodity X, when price of commodity Y, please listen to it carefully, when price of commodity Y increases by a Ghana CD, quantity demanded of commodity X, commodity X, decreases or decrease by three units when price of commodity t increased by one Ghana cd quantity demanded of commodity x increase by two units now when you look at this question y and m from the prayer we have said the y and m are the income so if they are income and we have plus here it means that it is normal good and we have minus it means that they are inferior goods please hey, they are very very important normal goods and inferior goods look at the interpretation when income increases by one Ghana CD quantity demanded of commodity X will increase by one unit because one is here mass we don't write it will increase by one unit when income increases by one Ghana CD quantity demanded of commodity X will decrease by 0 0.2 units this is the interpretation so it means that here is complementary goods, here is substitute, here is normal goods, and here is inferior goods. So we use substitutes and complementary goods to refer to prices of other related commodities. And then we use normal goods and inferior goods to also refer to income of consumers. In our next lecture, we are going to use or going to introduce supply function. And then the supply function will try to perform some computations alongside the demand function. And then we calculate the equilibrium. And then from there we calculate total revenue, consumer surplus, producer surplus. So we are almost done with demand. It's level the calculations that you're going to put them together. Make sure to get for yourself a copy of possible series, possible principles of microeconomics book, possible communicative studies book, and possible introduction to computing book, so that you can pass your quizzes and exams with ease. Once again, my name is Possible. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos. Bye-bye.